Welcome back. We are now in the income statement page of the game. I am sure from the market statement you would have learnt about macroeconomic factors and market scenario that influence business decisions. Here we are going to see about the financial condition of your organization. As you can recollect from the market statement, we are producing and supplying 1000 units for 125 which is here translated into revenue that stands at 1,25,000. Your cost of producing the supplied units is 33,979, which is further broken down as fixed cost, utility cost, labor cost. Fixed cost are the cost spent towards electricity, rentals, etc. Wherein variable cost include cost of production, raw material, administration expenses etc and finally labor cost is the wage cost of the resources engaged to produce the goods. Apart from the above three you also see inventory holding cost though it currently stands at zero it could change if in case in a round you are not able to sell all the produced goods and the remaining gets held back in your warehouses. Such cost incurred to maintain this unsold goods is inventory holding cost. You have a cumulative profit of 63,715 at the current round. Your end objective of this game is to maximize this number and remain consistently profitable to emerge as a winner. Plant size of 2 denotes the number of plants that you have and each plant has the capacity to produce 1000 units means to say your production capacity is 2000 units to start with. This can be increased or decreased at any time during the game but note that the change in the plant size is impacted only in the subsequent round and not on the same round. Though your total production capacity currently stands at 2000, we are producing and supplying only 1000 units which mean we are operating at 50% plant utilization. As business owners, you need to look at optimizing your production capacity subject to the cost impact that arise based on the plant size. As you see, elasticity is currently at minus 1.8. What does it mean is a 1% increase in price would lead to a decrease in demand by 1.8% and vice versa. Productivity of 0.5 indicates that currently it takes 2 hours to produce 1 unit or otherwise we can say in 1 hour a labor produces half a unit. You need to look at increasing productivity by making investments towards training, research and development etc. during the progress of the game. Marginal cost as you can understand it is the cost incurred to produce additional one unit from the current production level and as you keep increasing your production, your marginal cost will start reducing. Now looking at the marginal sales table, by spending rupees 1000 each on advertisements and research and development, you will be able to make an additional sales of 14 units each. Wherein alternate channels such as e-commerce or new distribution network model could bring in a sale of 8 units for every rupees 1000 spent. You are expected to wisely analyze the worthiness and impactness of investing in advertisements, research and development and alternate channel and make your decision. Finally, spending 1000 on maintenance could bring you a saving of 2315. Kindly note that all the numbers in this sheet are bound to change as we progress in the game. It is inevitable for you to visit the market statement and income statement after every round and see for the changes and outcomes of your decisions before you proceed to the next round. Now having seen and analyzed the market statement and income statement, it's time for us to take our business decision for the first round. Let's look at the next video for the same.